Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Get the breath so that it's comfortable. And the thing thoughts of goodwill for yourself. Adjusting your breath so it's comfortable is a way of showing goodwill for yourself. But you also want that goodwill to spread around. After all, we're looking for a happiness that's not narrow, but happiness that thinks about the well-being of others, too. doesn't want to cause them any affliction. It's good to widen your mind like this on a regular basis. This is one of the reasons why we have the Sangha Dana. It's a gift to the entire Sangha, not to just one person, one monk. You think about the whole Sangha, and that widens your frame of reference, widens your mind. There's a story in the canon where the Buddha's mother comes and wants to give a, a robe that she's sewn to the Buddha, and he says, give it to the Sangha. That makes the merit even more. Merit in the sense of the sense of well-being that you've helped not just one person, but you've helped lots of people. People you may not even know or know a little bit, but don't know all that well. It starts spreading your mind and giving it a larger frame. You want to maintain that larger frame as you go through the day, thinking about the implications of your actions, how your search for happiness shouldn't cause any, any harm to anybody. In other words, you don't want to get them to do things that are against the precepts. You yourself don't do anything against the precepts. As the Buddha said, you harm yourself by breaking the precepts. You harm other people by getting them to break the precepts, telling them to do this, do that. And this way you're, you're looking for happiness in a way that's not causing anybody any harm. Because all too often when we're focused on our happiness, it's just our little pleasure in this narrow little compass. And it gets very small and very tight and very, very narrow. And the mind gets a lot weaker because suddenly its happiness depends on this little thing being that way and that little thing being this way. And it finds it harder and harder to find true happiness in the world. But when your mind is much broader like this, taking the well-being of everybody into consideration, then your happiness gets wider. Your mind gets larger. It becomes a much more spacious mind to be in. So do what you can to develop and then maintain this spacious sense of mind, alert to the implications of what you're doing, and doing your best to do it well.